Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I have kind of a crazy scheme that I'm going to attempt. Before we get started, please consider liking and subscribing. So I have seen on houseplant Facebook groups that some trubii, moonlight, and also some like shingling plants and a lot of other awesome rare plants are showing up in Walmarts all over the region. And I'm currently in upstate New York outside of Albany and I'm going to attempt to go to eight, seven, seven or eight different Walmarts and see if I can find any of those plants. First stop I think is going to be to go get Starbucks so that I have some fuel to get me through this because it says it's gonna take two and a half hours of driving Let's do it. Okay, so my Starbucks didn't have my drink, so I was gonna get a hot cocoa. But then I was like, if I'm gonna get hot cocoa from Starbucks, why don't I just go to Dunkin'? So now I'm trying to find a Dunkin'. Hey, hey. So I'm driving from the Dunkin' to the first Walmart, and I just passed this place. I think I'm gonna get out and look, because it looks really cool. old plant shop, two full greenhouses, but it's like totally closed down. But look inside, you can see all the tables, but there's like trees growing on the inside. I don't know, is that just me that thinks that this stuff is really cool? Look at all that. There's another one here. Yeah, it says it's closed. That's really cool. I don't know. I think that's kind of funky. It's not that they closed, but it's cool that it's like, there's just like trees growing inside a greenhouse out of the ground. Okay, on to Walmart. Okay, there's actually a Lowe's on the way to this first one, so I'm stopping at a Lowe's. I can't make up my mind, but just one place. Store number one. Oh, so they have these cute pots. I haven't seen these before. I've seen people find them. Cute pots. Sort of the classic big plants here. More classic, ooh. Spotty begonia. And they have this black metallic begonia that I've seen around. And then some fiddly figs. And some ZZs. Ugh, it's the first time I've seen the Trending Tropicals collection in store, but there's nothing really fun. They have these little guys. They have some pearls and jade, which is cool. A bunch of waffle plants and stuff. This pearls and jade is actually really cool looking. The color is like smoky blue. <laughs> that succulent, whatever that's doing. Just in general. Nothing really remarkable. This is a cool fiddly fig. That's a massive leaf. Can you tell how big that is? Other than that, nothing crazy good. These begonias are cool though. Not that into begonias, but they're funky. Okay, so I'm leaving that first Lowe's and it's encouraging that they have trending tropicals at all. It just was none of the cool ones that I'm looking for. Oh, it's so hot. <laughs> okay, onto the first Walmart. Oh, Walmart. I found the plants. I feel it's, it's the place to be tonight. Do you know what I mean? No. Succulents. Ooh. Selaginella, I believe. Focus. Focus. Oop. Oop. Turning tropicals. Have a Birkin. A red. That's either rotted or red variegated Birkin. Have some Raven ZZs, some regular stuff, some Chiflera. Oh, no, Trubi Eye. 
this is encouraging. Never seen a Birkin at a big box store before, personally. But look at all these Raven ZZs. Wow, there's like three, six, six of those guys. Oh, let's see what's over here. Nice. A lot of lemon lime maranta, which is really cool. These guys. Some dying stuff. Classic. Okay, so that was more encouraging than the Lowe's, or equally. They have Raven ZZs and Birkins and stuff, so let's keep going. Okay, leaving the first Walmart here. The amount of people here with their masks, either like below their chin or like under their nose, doesn't do the same amount if you don't have it over your nose, people. That would be a nose nudist. I just wear the mask. My goodness, where's my car? I found it. Okay, back in the car. Uh, now going to the next one, which is like 3.9 miles away. Oh, it's still really hot. Okay, on to the next. We're at the second Walmart. That drive felt like it took a long time. This is the right temperature now. Woohoo. I feel like I'm losing steam already. Ah! Someone gave this tree a scarf. Now it can be warm. I see no plants. Excuse me, do you guys have house plants? No. Okay, thank you. That was a total waste of a 13 minute drive. They had no house plants whatsoever. It's a sad world. Aww. That was annoying. I feel like I should have researched or like called ahead of time to see if they have plants. Whenever you try to call the stores, it takes like 25 minutes to get anyone to talk to you about anything. So whatever, headed to the third Walmart, which is 18 minutes away. I got to the next one and I already don't feel good about it. It's like a weird one in a mall. So I feel like there's not gonna be plants here. Let's see. Walmart was playing this like super spooky like gloomy sad Christmas music that is also copyrighted so I'm just gonna mute this and play my own music over it don't mind me Okay, so I'm back in the car. That was so weird. I thought that it was gonna be weirdly small, but instead it was weirdly massive. But yeah, they had some plants, just not good ones. <laughs> Still warm. Okay, next one's 14 minutes away. Fourth Walmart. Fourth? Third. Fourth? Fourth. Fourth? I feel like they may as well just not have any plants. That was so disappointing. <laughs> the sun is setting and there is a Lowe's right next door. So I'm going to hop over to the Lowe's. That's right over there. Lowe's. This one had both annoying music and a PA system going and I was talking, so I'll just narrate over what I was saying. Wow, I found some beautiful plants. I feel so fortunate to live in a country that has access to plants and healthcare. Except sometimes there are some government uprisings that aren't great, and we ignore climate change. But here's some plants. They're kind of pretty. Bird paradise. Those are cool. Some people are finding some variegated versions of these, so I meant to check all of the leaves, but clearly I did not check every single one. 
and I think here I'm talking about how the variegation is cool because it stripes up on the leaf like that, which is kind of what you would expect. Here are some sad plants. This Lowe's always has really sad plants, but yeah, here's some succulents, some snake plants, and some more sort of sad ones. And this was so sad. This is the Trending Tropicals collection, but they instead of putting plants on there, stock dirt. <laughs> and then here are some Alocasia Amazonica and some variegated neon pothos in some cute pots. And then some more stupid waffle plants. And then a sad, stupid begonia. And my camera wouldn't focus. There we go. <laughs> that was so frustrating! Because I literally know that they've had that collection there because the whole rack was empty and just filled with perlite. Oh, that was so sad. I guess I'll go to more. I'm not having good luck with Walmarts. Like, they don't even have any remnants of having the collection, the Trending Tropicals collection. At least Lowe's has some, like, remnants of having had it. <laughs> okay, so I think I'm going to just hit one more Walmart and then a Lowe's and then a Home Depot and then call it a day because this has been sad. This is where the plants were supposed to go. Do you see any plants? I don't either. My hot cocoa is cold. And it's gone. What a day, what a journey. Okay, ready? We're at the last Walmart. Cross all your fingers and toes that we find something good. I've been here before and I know that they had Cebus during the big Cebu surge of 2K20. Let's see. That's an impressive sign. Okay, what do we got? Sad ZZs, sad succulents. Ooh, asparagus fingers. That's cool. Okay. Ooh. Marble Queen, Snow Queen, Pothos. Amaryllis, Christmas Cactus. Literally every single one of them have had these today. Celadonella. I feel like I have to get one. Oh, I don't think they have anything cool. Oh, they have some of these. Is that supposed to look like that? You see that? It's like marbled. I know this is like a golden goddess. But do you see that? That it's all like... I don't know if that's virus or like proper variegation. I had to sneeze, but it left. Uh, these I later found a thrip on them and then asked a Facebook group and they're like, yep, that looks like thrip damage. So I thought I found something cool and variegated and I'm really glad I didn't buy it because it's just ill. <laughs> okay, I actually think I'm gonna get one of these. Pretty sure they're Snow Queen. I forget, ooh, that's a half moon, sort of. But there's four of them. Let me pick the best one. Okay, back in the car. I got a plant. Wow. I just got this Marble Queen Pothos because I don't have one yet and it was $3. And it's in the cup holder, but you can't tell because it's dark because I've been running around and the sunset because I've been running around for hours. One more Lowe's. For a second, I thought these were indoor plants and I'm so worried because it's like 32 degrees out. More music playing. So this one, I was so excited because it looked like they had really good stuff because the racks looked like trending tropicals, but they were just more of the pots that have like regular plants, but the pots are really cute. I like those a lot. And this place is great with their clearance section of mostly dead plants. People at big box stores really don't know how to take care of their plants and I don't expect very much. But here were some more begonias that I really regretted not getting one of those black and red ones before. So I decided to take that out and look at it. Oh, I want to let you sample what this audio sounds like for one second. Oh, wow. this is the only one. Yeah. Uh, then here I'm saying that I thought that this was two plants because it was so full looking, but it's actually one big pot of it. 
Then here I somehow took a slow motion video, and it goes on for a long time, so enjoy this overly dramatic montage of a sort of sad plant section by accident. Okay, I think that is the last store that I'm going to go to. I'm so happy that I found that because I really was not, I like didn't want to buy it when I first came across it because I thought I might be able to find something cooler. But then I like regretted that I didn't buy that begonia at the first store that I went to. So I'm really happy that they had one last one. So let me show you finally what I got. I think that was like eight stores, 10 stores, something like that. Let me show you what I got. So I got this Marble Queen Pothos that has some cute little leaves that have barely any variegation. And then, where did that one go? There's a half moon leaf in there somewhere. Whoa, that's a random massive leaf. But yeah, I've never had a Marble Queen. Got these two begonias. This is an angel wing of some sort. I'll have to figure out what the name is. I'll put it on the screen. And I got this little guy because it was shimmery and pretty. But yeah, trying to get more into begonias and this is a good first step. So yeah, that's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. If you liked it, please subscribe to my channel and consider hitting that like button. This was chaotic. What about life isn't chaotic? Anyway, thank you so much for watching. See you next time.